Hey everybody, Aaron Morris here, level four. Our topic was um, being special, being able to make something really beautiful happen with your partner, particularly um, when experiencing the pressure of like time or an audience looking at you, uh, keeping your cool and still being able to make stuff happen. So we started with trading phrases for eights each. We talked about how to step really nicely, picking up the knee, making good clear sounds happen and we would present four eights to our partner one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven switching back and forth um, I gave you an example of a phrase that I really want you to be brave with and try which is your first two eights being pretty simple and clear and then we talked about using the third eight like dumping out a bucket of hardware. And then finding your way back to that fourth eight. Nice and clear, just to sort of practice being explosive. Practice throwing all the paint at the canvas. It's really good for you. Don't apologize for it. You'll figure out how to edit later on, but sometimes you just got to write for the trash can. Um, I gave you a skeleton phrase to work with with your partner, which was a six count send out, then a six count leader's turn, then a six count circle, then a six count tuck turn, and then you had just an eight at the end to either experience a break or come back together with my ghost follow. That'd be one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, come together, five, and six. Tuck, turn, three, and four, five, and six. Now you're doing something right here. We talked about how either partner can choose to push and pull rhythmic moments uh, inside of that phrase so that you then have to speed up some things to catch up to the music or you just have to really vibe off of each other. This is a difficult thing to show with my fake partner here, but you guys did a great job. Um, keep the conversation going. About conversation, the last thing I will say is that dance conversation is incredibly cool because it doesn't actually require silence or absence of anything to be able to still listen to your partner. So you can talk and listen at the same time when you dance, so it is the greatest conversation of all. Thank you so much. Good luck.